hey guys what's up um welcome to a weekly vlog um there's a lot that's gonna be on this vlog um there i went to my girlfriend's wedding so i'm sharing that in this vlog also we did some shopping um what else um i'm gonna bring you well i'm heading to toronto i'm traveling so i'm going to pack with you guys and share my packing and how i you know my goal is to get outfits for a photo shoot and outfits for about i think about five days into a carry-on which for me <laughs> that's a lot but i think i can handle it so i'm gonna share like my little packing techniques i've actually been pretty good in terms of packing stuff so yeah so i'm gonna share that and yeah i can't remember what else has happened but it's definitely you know a fun array of things so definitely watch the whole vlog because you know it's been a fun couple of days i guess this is kind of over like two weeks or whatever anywho um before we jump into the vlog and before, i'm gonna start with the packing I think and then we'll kind of go back and forth anywho <laughs> if this is your first time visiting my channel I'm Monica <laughs> welcome I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta and my vlogs basically follow my life while I work shop luxury shopping mostly um, and all that good stuff and everything in between so if you like my vibe <laughs> make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video but anywho yes make sure you guys subscribe also make sure you check me out on Instagram for you know I guess kind of like just following along in between the vlogs which I kind of I do I think I'm doing the vlogs now about twice a month so you can kind of get a little bit more in between the vlogs so yes so make sure you guys check me out on Instagram it's on my money and TikTok as well so yes we've gotten that all out of the way now um I'm going to pack I'm finally going home for those of you who don't know I am from Toronto Canada um, my husband's American, everyone else in my household is definitely, my kids are all American, so, yeah, so we live here in Atlanta, but, um, I finally get to go home and visit my siblings, um, my parents, so I'm very excited about that because I haven't seen them in almost two years because of COVID. I usually travel and go to Toronto twice, um, twice a year at least, you know, I love to shoot there, I love to create content in Toronto as well, so, um, I definitely miss going home. I'm also going to meet up with some of my friends, so it should be really fun. All my people are fashion people, so it'll it'll definitely be a lot of fun. So make sure you, so wait, uh, I, I think I'm having like a full vlog for that, so I'll share that with you guys eventually soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we got to pack for this trip because I have to get some work done, and the goal is to literally just have work for one day i'm not even a full day work for half a day and literally take a break because i desperately need a break um i've been experiencing major burnout lately um so yeah the goal is really to just turn everything off and be present it's pretty hard because i run my own business i'm constantly creating content um i'm constantly working and i'm just used to working i really don't know what to do when i'm not working because all of the fun stuff that I used to do revolved around, you know, checking up on people on social media and, you know, opening all these different apps. And now sometimes, well, well, it got to a point really where opening the apps weren't fun for me. It just felt like, oh God, I have to look at numbers or I have to, you know, there's just so much and it does become very stressful um, after a while. And in no shape or form am I complaining because I am so grateful for this job. Like this is exactly, you know, being able to share my passion for fashion and being paid for that is it's something i never even dreamed that i would be able to do but it's what i do it's what i call a job it's you know and it it's a very well paying job too at that most uh, at that point so or at the most at that point i, I don't know <laughs> anywho um super grateful for the opportunities that this job has given me um but sometimes just like with any job it gets overwhelming and i feel like when uh, sometimes not all the time when i talk to people about this or if i mention burnout i kind of get the side eye like why are you complaining you know you're doing what you love and it's not like i said it's not a matter of complaining it's just we're human i'm human just like with any other job regardless of if you love if you don't love if you are working 24 7 like i do i literally get into my office at 8 30 and i'm leaving at 6 30 
I try to take an hour break, but usually I don't. Usually I'm working through the break and maybe I have 30 minutes where I just put the TV on so I don't work. But when you're constantly doing that, regardless of how much you love something, it does become weighing. Because um, my mind is like always thinking about the next thing, the next collaboration. What do I need to create? What do I need to do? What do I need to improve? How are my numbers doing? So a lot of that tends to weigh heavy on me. So um, hopefully I can just pause and not think about it. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but one of my girlfriends said, you know what, it's your mind. You can control your mind. And she said, you know, she knows it's easier said than done, but I think it's through everything I feel like in terms of discipline, it's practice and meditation and kind of just, you know, reminding yourself you have control. Um, definitely easier said than done because if that was the case, I am I would say I'm a pretty disciplined person, but I feel like when there are things that need to be done sometimes that outweighs discipline and it's just your mind is like okay if i don't do it now and i still have to do it later it still has to be done anyhow enough of the rambling <laughs> let's get into this packing because um yeah it should be fun okay so whenever i'm traveling i tend to create a list so that way i don't overpack because I have the tendency to overpack. Um, I remember traveling once, I had like four suitcases for a week, like big suitcases. And of course I didn't use any of it. So now after that trip and just the, how annoying and frustrating it was to have that, have that many, um, that amount of suitcases, I now travel with a list. So that way I'm not overpacking, I'm utilizing everything that's with me. So I got my little Toronto <laughs> pack list that I've typed up and then I kind of tried to hang everything up um, so I can see it all and then I a girlfriend of mine suggested packing cubes so I got these off of Amazon I will link them for you guys if anyone needs packing cubes so I use packing cubes um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale Chant I think it's Chantel, Chantel it's one of those lingerie luxury lingerie brands they sent me a whole bunch of lingerie so this I'll use for my lingerie I already have some of my travel um, toiletries in here which I tend to do um, and then I'll probably put my makeup brushes in this little Mer Laura Mercier travel case that the brand sent me um, yeah so I have like all the little things that I need so the packing cases so I have all the packing cases there and then these are all the items that are on my list so not too many items um, and then we've got shoes over here so basically um, I'm getting in on a Friday um, so I'm doing Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and leaving on Tuesday I have dinner Friday Saturday and then like a family pool day my sister has a really cool pool so we're having like a family pool day um, on Sunday Monday I'm not really sure we might just hang out whatever and then i'm shooting as well so i have to shoot i'm shooting ooh, i'm shooting about six looks um so yeah i've got i've got six looks to shoot but i'm making sure that what i'm shooting will consist of items that i'm going to probably wear for dinner or whatever so that way i'm not overpacking so that's everything there everything's on hangers but i'm gonna take everything off of hangers and put it in the packing cubes and then fit it into the suitcases so i have two suitcase options they're both from hartsman um i worked with the brand before well not really worked with them they sent me they sent me bags or luggage and it was just gifting which but they love the images that i sh shot so they ended up buying the images from me so i feel like this one is slightly bigger than that one that one's my favorite but this one is slightly bigger, so I might need this one to fit everything. So I'm gonna put everything in the packing cubes first and then we'll see what I need. I think I'm gonna pack everything according to like outfits. That might make life easier for me if I have all the outfits in like one place. So I'll start with my, oh, I also have like outfits, so I know what I'm wearing that way. I don't have to think about it. So I'm like, oh, Friday, I have this, blah, 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 blah. So I tend to do that. So I'm going to start backwards so I can have the stuff from Monday on the bottom and the stuff for Friday on the top. Okay, so another thing I tend to do, because um, so far it feels like I'm good packing wise, 
but then I have my boots and my feet are big so I tend to take smaller more flimsy items roll them and then put them in the boots and I think I'm gonna need that to utilize all the space so um, I don't think I'm gonna take the t-shirts because I don't want to wrinkle them up that much but I do have some other fabrics in there that I feel like will be fine if I roll them up so I'm gonna do that and put them in the boots and start with the boots first and then actually now I'm gonna start with the clothes and then put the boots on top okay so change I decided I changed my mind basically I'm going to use this hardcover suitcase because there are two sides and I just I personally just like when shoes are on one side and my clothes are on the other side it's just a visual thing for me and I feel like it just helps me better organize so I'm going to do that I'm going to try that and see I still have the clothes here I haven't put everything in here yet um, I was going to put some items in the shoes but I actually might not need that um, I might be able to get everything in this one packing cube so let's I'm shooting this amazing gown oh, it's just it's so beautiful but um, I wore it to a friend's wedding and I'm going to shoot it in Toronto. So that should be fun. So what I really like about these packing cubes is that you can just really squish everything in. So it just makes it easier. So that's why I like, them. really like this. But yeah, so I've gotten all the clothes in here and I'm just zipping it in. It's pretty full, but the good thing about this packing cube business is that it squishes everything. It's almost like it takes the air out and then I can force it to close and then get all of that in here. So I have in here right now, I've got, I have a list of everything. So I've got um, clothing wise, I have about so 12 items, article of clothing, or, um, 12 articles of clothing in here, including a gown, jeans, so there's a lot that I was able to get into this cube. And voila, it fits perfectly in my suitcase though. And I feel like I could still fit more in here. So we'll see. let's see what else we can get in there. So for bags, I tend to put my bags in my, like actually on me. So I probably will wear I probably will wear, oh no, I'm going to wear this one. I can get more in here. Even though it's not a per perfect match with this, but it works with my shoes. And then I'll put this inside the book tote as well. So those will go inside my luggage, shoes. I might just take only one pair of boots. <laughs> They're taking up way too much space. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take the one pair. That way I can get more in here and I have peace of mind. So I think that's what's gonna happen. And that way I can add the bag in here comfortably. I'm gonna get the dust bag for this, but I just wanna make sure everything fits first. I don't have my toiletries in here yet, so I might just have to carry this bag. I think that's what's gonna happen. Toiletries here. Mm, good. It all fits. <laughs> so I'm going to normally I do the bag inside the bag, but this bag will definitely not fit in there. So I'm just going to wear this but still create enough space in the book tote so I can kind of maneuver it if I need to. But I have a little bit more space in here and I will put, um, I'm not doing much with my hair, my hair will be done, um, but um, I still have to put like a few more toiletries in there, my toothbrush, which really doesn't take up that much space. And then I'm taking these magazines for my siblings want it because I have a really cool feature in here. Um, I've shared it already. Um, I think it's in this vlog as well that I'm going to share it. But um, I've got a really cool feature. So if you're in Atlanta, pick up the Atlanta and check out my feature. So yeah, my siblings want it, so I'm taking it to them. And then I'm just gonna show you guys how I put the bags inside the bags in my book tote, and then I'm gonna get on with my work. So I, I strongly believe the book tote is the best travel bag ever because it takes everything in the kitchen sink. Um, 
I will put this in the book tote. I might just put like jewelry and stuff inside it there and then just throw it in. Um, and then my big camera, that always goes with me. So this will go in here and my laptop. I'm not bringing any work stuff, just the camera to shoot. Um, so just these two major things will be in here. And then everything I need easy access to will be in here, but I keep enough space in here that I can just do that. So, you know, the air hostess won't tell me I have three bags. So now I just have this and that, and I'm good. And my la the only other thing that's gonna go in here will be my laptop and yeah, that's that's how I roll when I travel. Um, I just I wish I could get both shoes, but or both boots. But yeah. Oh no, I need to add one more pair of shoes. Yeah. But yeah, everything else fits. So I actually don't need those boots for this trip because I don't have an outfit for it. So I am good otherwise. Yay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for packing with me. Okay. So can we just have a moment? Um, so in one of my previous vlogs, I talk about um, how my girlfriend Erica's getting married. Um, so yeah, this was the dress, one of the dresses that I asked you guys should I get, and it has a bodysuit under it. It's so cute. I love it. I wasn't sure, and I feel like... I was kind of torn. I was like, okay, this or another one. And I ended up ordering this. I still have time for the other one. But this one I ordered from Farfetch. It also comes in black. Um, my other girlfriend said I should do the black, but the black was sold out in my size. Plus this blue initially caught my eye. So I decided to just stick with the color. And I think this is the one, I think this is it. <sighs> okay, wait for it. I'm gonna turn around and share the back. Now this is a really, can we have a moment for the dress? <sighs> I'm gonna use this to do the TikTok video. So I literally just took it out of the box and I'm trying it on now. So I will share, I'm gonna share the wedding and all of that with you guys, but I wanted to try this on to see if I needed to get it hemmed or anything. I think I would just, I don't know if I'm gonna get it hemmed. I think I'm just gonna have it super long like this because I feel like gowns should be long and they should drag. I just hope I don't step on it. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love it. And then I have to figure out heels and everything and they have to be comfortable. I might get them hemmed. The only problem with knit dresses, hemming, you like literally have to find someone who truly knows what they're gonna do. And this can cost me a fortune because I would want the hem to be this way. Um, so they would have to get the threading to match. And um, there's just a lot that goes with hemming knits to ensure that you know it maintains its original look. Um, we can fold it over. I could even do that on my own, but I don't want to do that to this gown because it's stunning. Ugh. Like, this is true. Can we get a moment for the dress? Like, the slit action of it all. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to wear these shoes with them. I don't know. This is just still the planning stage. I love it. I'm gonna wear this again. I have another gown that I was going to wear, but I saw that my, well, my assistant was shopping through and she saw it and then sent it to me and I was just like, oh my God, I am obsessed. So, and I don't have any tape or anything on it, but I think when I wear it, I probably will put um, body tape just to have them, you know, have the girls up a little higher, but looks pretty good. Yes, and these shoes are, yeah, we'll see. Hey guys, so I am at the shops at Buckhead. I came for a photo shoot and we're having lunch and we're having lunch at Le Bouquet. Um It is very hot, but it's really nice outside. It's a beautiful day, so I'm probably going to go to Dior after this, so I will bring you guys along. Remember this shirt? It's so beautiful. It has a sleeveless, a sleeveless. I didn't realize it came in a sleeveless. I love it. I might have to get that. 
should. Yes, and we brought the Fendi first out today. But yeah, bon appetit. All right, y'all, we just finished lunch. How was lunch? Lunch was absolutely I'm gonna delicious. say hi. hi. Yes, and we got some perfect shots for Michelle, so I'm very excited about that. So I think it's time to pay Hermes a little visit and then off to Dior. Okay, hi. Okay, so we're at my favorite spot and oh, I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna share the boots that Dior has right now. I'm like having a moment because I'm trying to decide which boots I need for fall. So I'm gonna flip it around. First of all, these are the shoes that I love and I want. They don't have my size yet. But these are just, aren't they amazing? So classic. But you can compare it to this. Should be clean this. Oh my goodness. Randy, I'm in love. Do we have anything in my size? I can check. Okay. These are wicked. The low first. Say hi. Oh my god, IJ, those are so cute. Oh, see, it must be nice to pick up your shoes and just <laughs> try them on. I can never do that. Oh, they're so cute. Are they like rain boots? <gasps> oh my God, I love these. The blues are cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, my feet are too, my my um feet are big and then my calves so are are thin so this won't work. Oh my God. Okay. I love them. Say what's up to Miss Ashley here. She's the amazing manager here at Dior. So if you guys need anything, just come see my people and they'll take care of you. We'll definitely take care of you, Randy and I. Yes. <laughs> Yay. We love to see Monica. I love, I love coming here. It's always good times. I just love the company. Always. Forget the shopping. We love the company. And we, didn't, we don't even have any champagne or nothing. But if y'all want champagne, they can have that for you too. <laughs> um, why is IJ wearing my shoes? They're amazing. Oh, I love them. Are they comfy? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not my exact size, but yeah. But you were able to get your foot in, so you need a half size up? <laughs> up, yeah, perfect. Oh my god, I still want them. Well, I mean, it feels fine now, but yeah. Oh, I love them. And Randy's holding this. Oh my goodness. I really want this bag. Like, really want it. I really want it. This burgundy brick red. Oh my word. And then the white. And then the patent. Oh gosh. All the temptation. <laughs> All the temptation. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. And then the exotics, everything. More leopard. Guys, oh, can, oh my God. Holy smacker jacks. Oh my, it's suede. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. This is why I just need to stay in my house because holy, s oh. oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, how much is this one? It's so big. I don't know if I want another big bag, but oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. 4,000. Okay. Oh, the finish. Oh my gosh. The color. The color. It's the color for me. <gasps> Wowzer snap. Like, and the croc and ball. The workmanship, guys, like, the workmanship on this is just absolutely unreal. Like, if you can feel this, the, the, it's like a jacquard because it's raised. And then the stitch detail. Wow. Just beautiful. Do we have any small sizes? Something that's a little smaller in the same um, finish? Yes. Not yet? Okay. I don't know if it will be Okay. And the Lady Dior is beautiful. And oh, 
This feels completely different in this. Is this like a canvas or? Yeah, this is a canvas. Wow. To oh my gosh. And you can get your uh, initials, initials on. on it. How much is that one going for? She's going to be 5000 I think. Okay. And my, uh, my favorite saddlebag. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Holy smacker jacks. It's our jewelry. Fine jewelry. This is the fine jewelry. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is your fine jewelry. We got to bring out the gloves for this. Oh, oh my Wants goodness. Wants to be my hand model. Oh, queen. Oh, I, well, she has some more fingers. <laughs> my fingers are big. Oh, oh my gosh. And how much is this oh, amazing? She is 3900 Three nine. Oh, I thought it was going to be more than that. And then you can like staff them with these. This is gorgeous. Oh, are they like chain? Wow. Yeah. wow. How much are the chain ones? Um, I believe 1100 Oh, wow. Oh, I am obsessed. This I love is this. Pretty. This is my favorite piece. This is really pretty. Oh. I call oh it my, my mood gosh. ring because it depends on what mood you're in. You can flip oh, it over. Oh, I love that. I love the sun. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It has a little eye, little happy the faces. Diamond. And the, the mother moon of pearl. has some happy face on the moon. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How much is that? This one's 5900 mm -hmm. Honestly, the prices yeah. for fine jewelry, that's not... 18 karat gold, yeah. made in Paris. Oh, IJ, oh. This, that looks so good on your finger. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. What size is that, a seven? Uh, I believe it's a six. Six, oh, that's too small for me. I need yeah. a seven or... No, because I don't want to get attached. <laughs> I don't want to get attached. I'm like, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to start dreaming this about it. too. It flips that's, over. Oh, yeah, that's oh, the one oh, I was looking at. Oh, that's like, so cute. I like that. Yeah. I'm one of those people that if I put it on, I'm going to start dreaming about it. I'm already, that's I'm going to start dreaming about those. That is, that is so gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay, oh my gosh. Hey guys, um, another day. Today's a work day. I have like no makeup on right now because I need to get ready for a shoot. I'm shooting something really cool with Michelle watches. Um, I've mentioned this so many times. I'm a Michelle ambassador this year. I've worked with Michelle forever, so, but they've got a really, really cool new watch um, coming out for fall and getting ready to shoot that. I've shot some of it yesterday. I'm gonna shoot the rest of it today. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like a work catch up one work day and I'm so tired already and it's, what time is it? It's just like 10 o'clock. But yes, got the hair done, laid it ready. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of makeup. When I'm doing photos, I don't put on a lot of makeup, but when I'm in front of the, like filming a video, I won't say I put on a lot of makeup cause I never do, but just enough where, you know, the face looks good in front of the camera basically. And I feel like when you don't put on so much makeup in front of like photos shoot, for a photo shoot, at least for me, you can always like edit. And I don't really, need, I don't use a lot. Anywho, I wanted to <laughs> share just like a fun little win um, with you guys. I did a photo shoot and I think I shared this in an earlier vlog with um, one of the local magazines here, the Atlantan, which is part of the Modern Luxury Group of magazines which you know you see in different places whatnot but anywho the feature they just sent me the link to the feature and it's so good it's so good so i'm gonna like share it with you guys because i'm so stoked right now okay so i think i'm actually like covering the the feature itself um for because they interviewed a couple of people so this is what it's gonna look like like the front page of the article and I guess it's really highlighting women in style. I don't think you guys can see it, but I will definitely have a link to the article. And if you're in Atlanta, you guys are probably already familiar with um, Jezebel and the Atlantan. So this will be in the Atlantan. And then this is like the front, the first like interview. And it's my picture at Portia and it's so cool. And then the article, you can't see the article because it's just really faded, but um. These are some of the other people that they interviewed. They told me about this woman and her jewelry collection. All that is just like ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna try and decrease the ISOs to see if it'll appear better. So give me a sec. Okay, so I just lowered the light. So let's go back to mine and see what we can see there. So yeah, 
it was so it was so cool shooting this so to see it come alive is like really cool um i don't think you can really it says sophisticated with a dash of swagger these local trendsetters prove that style is indeed a state of mind so that's what it says that's the image um it's just too small to read i would need glasses <laughs> Um, but yeah, these are some of the other people that were featured. And just like local people, I guess, v vice presidents and of different companies and CEOs and all of that good stuff. Um, Co-founders of, you know, this is what, General Partner Fund. So yeah, that's the article. And very excited about that. So yeah, I don't know what else I'm getting in today, but I just wanted to share that because I thought that was really cool but yes after the photo shoot I just have a lot of work today's my baby girl's birthday so um we're not doing anything today we're gonna have like the sleepover she, she just wanted the sleepover party and with COVID and everything we're just trying to keep it small so but I'll probably I'll try and share some of that too okay so I just finished shooting I'm gonna share the watch with you guys it's this beautiful Michelle watch I'm absolutely obsessed um the strap comes in two different colors if I'm correct, this is the wheat color. I thought it was the blush. I thought it was a different color, um, but I've requested for them to send me both and they're the same. So I guess, yeah, this is the wheat color. Anywho, love the watch. Um, now I'm going to unbox something that I picked up from Hermes. It's really cute. <laughs> All right, so I picked up something pretty special from or mess and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys so it's not a bag <laughs> I'm still waiting on my call for the bag um, but yeah when the bag comes I'll let y'all know but in the meantime picked up some fun little accessories love the Hermes packaging I'm recording for <laughs> TikTok as well so <laughs> we're multitasking so you can zoom in and then we can do an overhead clip of just like the coming out of the bag. Okay. So there are little gifts that they put inside and I'll share that with you guys afterwards, but we'll unbox this first. Okay, we can do the overhead. Ready? Giving you guys a little behind the scenes of what, what goes on making these bloody TikTok videos. They're fun though, but. And of course, we'll share the TikTok video with you guys. I wonder if it should be done. It should be live by the time this goes live so you guys will see it. It's pretty, right? I got this beautiful, beautiful silk scarf. I am obsessed. Like, it is just beautiful. First of all, it was the color. So I just love the combination of all these beautiful colors, the browns, the reds, there's blush in there. These are a lot of colors that I personally feel are gonna be major for summer or i said summer for fall 2021 and i talk about that in my fall um my fall trend report so if you haven't seen that make sure you you know check it out but i am obsessed it's gonna go well with so much in my closet with my lady dior with my fendi first bag with my forensic like with just with pretty much everything and the cool thing is that you can wear it so many different ways so i'm definitely gonna wear this as a top and this particular scarf is in their, um, what do you say it was soft? Their soft silk. So it's like a wash silk, so it's really soft. And I just find the texture of this better than my other Hermes scarf. So very excited about this, very excited to style this. I will definitely take this with me um, on my trip to Toronto. So I will be sharing that with you guys and how I style it, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably share like imagery on my Instagram page as well. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, y'all need to follow me on Instagram. All right. Okay, let's see what else. I think I have some other things that I can unbox with you guys real quick and then I have to get back to work. Actually, I have to pick up 
the magazine they just told me to come and pick it up um, from their office so I will bring you guys along for that too okay. okay so I almost forgot to share the little gifts they gave us um, looks like there's a whole bunch of perfume stuff in here we had so much fun at Hermes yesterday um, it was really fun I unfortunately you know they don't let you film in the store which is fine I would have loved to share just we just had a really really good time we were there for what a well over an hour or two and just cracking jokes and I know a few people that work there so it's always fun for me it's like going to see friends and we just chit chat and you know like they literally brought out I would say well over 20 scarves yeah. and of course I love them all you know um, but you really have to like really like hone in and think about like what you really want or what actually works with your wardrobe because I had picked a, a scarf that what at first I picked a bright fuchsia pink I'm not going anywhere with a bright fuchsia pink look for fall so I had to like you know and then actually I think we saw a red one a red and blue one and that was just like oh my god it'll look great with my lady Dior but still wouldn't necessarily work with my wardrobe and then he brought out the one that I got and I was just like okay yes this works with my current wardrobe I can shoot it for Instagram I can shoot it for so much um, I can still take it with me when I go to Malibu or when I you know have um, some of the other trips so it was really fun and of course you know when you're hanging out with friends you get little goodies <laughs> so they gave us quite a few I think these are all perfume samples funny enough I have no, I haven't bought perfume in years <laughs> so I feel like all the perfumes I have are just samples or brands sending me stuff oh this is cute the little cute bottle did you open yours yes I did. oh yeah so yeah me my assistant and my girlfriend we all went I think we well I share afterwards but <gasps> this is so cute oh I love the bottle so they gave us they gave us fun stuff and a ton of like fun little perfumes Oh, this is cute. This is cute, guys. I wonder if you can, I hope you can see it. The bottles are so unique. And they stand on their own, so that's good. So I would, I have to say now that I'm actually just, I'm beginning to get into perfumes. Because I, I stopped because I think I remember like, while I was in my last year in university, I took like the, uh, um, I would guess in Canada's equivalent to um, university is college and college is university. So while I was in my last year in university, I did some a, a college course on the business of fashion. And um, I remember one of the court, um, beauty classes, was, they were talking about how perfume's not good for your sensory, or sensory factors or something along the lines. And <laughs> so I didn't use perfume for years. So I really just started because people were giving me perfumes as gifts and whatnot. So now I've got a really cool collection. Um, and I've started using so yeah I might I don't know well, now I have all these samples I don't need to buy but I I don't know if do you guys like what perfumes do you feel like I should buy we're still shooting for TikTok, so <laughs> that's why you see the phone but um I don't know what what perfumes I feel like I should really buy because I still have so many that are like almost all brand new so I don't know if I should be buying but if there's any scent that you guys just feel like oh my god she's gonna love it let me know with your comments because you guys are so cool and you know everything like you all call me out but in the nicest way so I really appreciate it I really appreciate it because it's not like you guys call me out when I make a mistake or I do something wrong but you kind of like give really good suggestions so I'm really grateful for you know the very creative um, feedback and all of that so yeah so I, I love your opinion so yeah so now here we've got like a couple of different scents they said they put here so I'm gonna try them all and have fun and I can actually take these when I travel that's good I could probably take these bottles too when we travel but they're cute we'll put them on display all right cool so now we got to go and pick up the magazine and get back to work so I just picked up some copies of the Atlantan because like I told you guys we got this cool little feature um, <laughs> we got a lot so if you need a copy but anywho I'm gonna take them home and open it up at home but yeah, very excited. I'm the magazine. Yay. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say.
so just got this package in from Hollywood Secrets. Um, the body tape that I always talk about is from this brand. They sent it to me, and now they just sent me something else. I guess they're doing something with um, hats, hat shield. This is actually a great idea because I hate, oh my God, I hate when makeup gets on my hats. So this is excellent. No, yeah, this is excellent. Why didn't anyone think of this before? And um, apparently there's one for undergarment, undergarment shield. Hmm, this is so cool. So I guess you put it on the inside for sweat. And gosh, I need to get a new deodorant because I've, I've been using Drunk Elephant and I hate it. I feel like I keep on like drip sweating. So yes, this is perfect timing. And a cute pink hat. I don't wear hats as much. So I'll probably put this in my giveaway. So, but I will let you guys know how these work for me and I will share um, hope, maybe I'll share um, later on in this vlog or I'll just I'll share it throughout or I'll talk about it maybe in haul so just watch all the videos and you can't miss all right okay so I just got a package in from Brahmin I am actually working with them this year but I'm I don't think this is part of our collaboration I think this is just a gifted bag um, what is this I think they sent a candle too. That's so sweet. Uh, smells like modern luxury. Oh, we definitely like modern luxury. All right, thanks. Can't wait to burn that. So let's see what bag we got. Ooh. Oh, the red is everything. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I can't one hand this. Okay, this bag is absolutely beautiful. It's that color, the red is gorgeous. And I think it has a crossbody strap as well. I can't wait to style this. Very pretty. Okay, so I got some stuff in from Charlotte Tilbury. <sighs> Let me close this door because it's a little noisy in the house today. But yes, got some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, cool. Super news. Oh. Okay. These colors look really pretty. I might try over the weekend. I've got a wedding. What is this? Um, hmm. Looks like um, a mascara. Which I can't use because I've got false lashes. So that'll go in my... Um, ABM Insider Giveaway Box. Let's see, looks like we've got palettes, so colors. Um, and here, what is this, Super Nudes. I guess the whole idea is just a lot of different fun nudes. Super bright, smoke, um, super model eyes. Oh, cool. Well, this is everything I got from them, and I can't wait to try it all. Thanks. I just noticed the um, cover of the package, so I guess these are some of the palettes. So it looks like just beautiful, bronzy, dark colors. So I'm very excited to try all of this. All right, so today's my, well, Thursday was my baby girl's birthday, but she wanted a roadblocks party. So <laughs> this is what I came up with. And um, yeah, it should be fun. You guys say hi. Hello. Hi. So yeah. Amy, are you excited about your roadblocks get together today? Yeah, I guess. Uh, what do you mean you guess? guess? What do you mean you guess? Huh? I, You're not excited? I am. Okay, so why did you say I guess? Because. Because what? I don't know. Alright, silly fish. Anywho, this is what we've got going on. Should be fun. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amon. Happy birthday to you. Ah, smile now, it's your birthday. Yes. Um, what? What? Go ahead, Etaro. Oh, no. I had nothing to say. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say, is it one, is it two? I mean, what else what did they say in the birthday? <laughs> all right. Okay, so we didn't plan this, but we're all wearing navy. Navy. As we're chilling, as the kids are having their roadblocks birthday <laughs> gathering. Clearly, they're in the background. <laughs> well, probably, I'm, I'm trying to convince them to do an outfit of the day to share our looks because 
It's, it's Titi's jumpsuit for me. Hi. And the ladies' pink outfit for me. Yeah. We're wearing cell to sable, but um, I'll, I'll share this in my outfit of the day video if I can convince them and I'll have all the links. Is this still available? I love it. I'm not sure. Okay. It's free, it's free, it's free, free people. Okay. We'll double check. We'll share. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am getting ready to go to a wedding and I am about to do my hair in my classic bun, but this time around I'm going to have a long braid with it. So I'm going to pretty much do it in front of the camera and yeah, let's see how it goes. This is, I've done the whole braided thing before, but it's been a while and I've never made it this long. So let's see how it turns out. I think it should be good. <laughs> So basically, I start by getting my hair prepped. I just put some coconut oil in it. Then I'm going to use Moroccan oil. I actually got these oils when I was in Morocco. So I know this one is really good for your edges. This one is just, I guess, pure Moroccan oil with a lemongrass scent. And I just put a little bit of all these products into my hair to keep my hair moisturized and, you know, with, especially with the gel and everything. And I just work it in and then put leave-in conditioner. And I just washed my hair too, by the way. So I haven't combed it or anything yet. Just putting in all the oils first. And then um, after the oils, I put in the leave-in conditioner. So I used Dove um, leave-in conditioner. I did a collaboration with them, I think it was last year. And this is a really cool product. This whole line is the Amplify texture. So it is for black hair. I love it. I use it on my hair. I use it on my daughter's hair and our hair our hair types are totally different, so yeah, I love this. I tend to put a generous amount of leave-in conditioner in my hair, not too much, but a good enough amount. Then I use a wet brush to basically brush out the hair. Actually, but before I do that, so before I brush out the hair, I tend to just kind of create my part and, and the way I want to pack it up into the ponytail. It's a back bun. So I'm going to do a center parting today. And then I comb, I make the part first and then I start to comb. I use a pen, yes. Don't ask me why I've been using a pen for my parts. And when I, even when I used to do hair, I always used a pen. Um, yeah, <laughs> it just works for me. I also kind of, I tend to hold the both sides down to make sure the parting is centered properly and it's a perfect line. I know everyone's hair type is different, but for my hair, just using the brush works. Um, I did a hair video before and someone was saying that it's not good to comb your hair while it's wet or whatnot. Um, I've done it different ways for my particular hair and this works. I don't get that much breakage when I use this brush. So, you know, um, so this works for me. I don't know. I've tried bigger combs and brushes and whatnot and I do like this brush and I feel like it just, you know, brushes everything out and it works for me. I just use these um, silk scrunchies to kind of hold each side. And then normally I would just put gel on the top and whatnot, but because I'm trying to do something a little different, I'm gonna put a little bit more gel and brush out my hair a little bit more to get it. I don't want it straight, but I definitely want more of a natural wave to it. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. To achieve that, I use Eco Gel and I use another bristle brush. So what I do is I'll just divide in and two. I, my hair, I, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I think my hair is a four, four C, I'm not sure. I just know it's, it's really fine. 
Um, and it's really easy for me to manage, luckily. But I don't leave it out because I just feel like it's too thin, too fine. So that's why you guys usually just see me with, um, what's it called? A ponytail for the most part. Or I'll do my afro. I'm gonna do a little bit of like the edge thingy, but I'm not a pro at that, but I'll do a little bit of it. So I'll just leave that part out. I try not to put too much gel as well. And I use this brush to kind of just, you know, smoothen it up a little bit and take out um, any excess gel. And notice how I'm using my hands to kind of smoothen it down a little bit more as I continue to brush the hair, just so that it lays as flat as possible. And then I basically do the same thing with the other side. And I just take very little gel that I put in there because I don't want there to be too much gel. And there's already a little bit of gel on the brushes as well at this point, so I try to make sure I don't put too much on it. So I basically unravel the the fringy that was already there that I was using to hold onto this side. Take that out and just kind of use it to hold the other side down to make sure it's nice and flat and it stays that way until I'm done with both sides and then I put them into one scrunchie. Then I take out all the um, scrunchies, so both, there were two there. And then just hold the bun in the center. I'm still gonna comb it out a little bit more to make sure, and put a little bit more gel to make sure it's completely flat everywhere. And then I tie down with a scarf. If there's excess gel on the brush, I'll use hot water to just kind of take, um, take the, the gel off. And I just put a little bit more gel on my hands to just make sure everything is nice and flat everywhere. Then I take a scarf. I hope the lighting is good. <laughs> then I take a scarf, um, any scarf I guess works, and just tie it down a little bit. I'm gonna tie it down and then start getting the attachment ready. I try not to go too tight on top, so that way it doesn't leave a line in the gel. It's firm, but it's not too tight, this part. So. And then I tend to take this and then just hold it down here at the back. That way the back lays flat as well, so I make sure it's nice and flat. Take my ears out of the scarf. Okay, so, and clean up time, of course, always very important. So the hair I'm using today, I actually got this hair to do um, like single braids. I tend to braid my own hair because I just don't have the patience and I feel like the prices that people charge right now are a little outrageous. So I braid my own hair, I've, I know how to braid hair. I used to braid hair for people in the past and weaves and all of that, so I can do it myself. Um, so I'm gonna try the ponytail with this brand, Expressions. I think I used to use this or whatever that is um, when I was in Nigeria too. So we're gonna do this. I think I'm just I'm just gonna do two of these. I don't. I want the braid to be full and thick, but not too full and thick. So yeah. yeah actually, I think I might need to use all three because they're definitely not that thick. And I think the inch. If this it said the package says 52 inches. So I'm gonna hold on to this elastic band just in case. I think I might use this to hold the hair in place. So we got that one. Yeah, I think this is definitely thick enough. 
I'm just combing through it. Um, I'm not sure if this hair was stretched. Um, a better braids. Pre-stretched, so it does say it's pre-stretched, pre-layered. But I'm still just coming through it to make sure that um, it's easy for me to braid and I you know, don't have like, I'm not stuck when I'm braiding. So that's nice and thick. Okay, so I'm going to use this instead of the um, flimsy elastic band that comes with it. These, I got these for my daughter and I use them. They're pretty cool. So it says super hold, no slip. And I use them for a while. I use them for my daughter's hair as well. So just put them through the hair like that to another loop. So it's kind of doing this right now. And then I'm gonna use that to just kind of put it around my hair. I'm gonna put that aside for a quick second. And I just need to finish cleaning up because the mesh drives me crazy and then I'll start putting it on. And also that gives me a little bit more time to make sure that the ha um, my hair is sitting nice and flat, so. Okay, so I retied my scarf to have my little bun come out. And I use this comb to just comb it out a little bit. I'm also going to add some gel to the hair so it's kind of smooth-ish. And I don't have, you know, like the curls like piercing through. Also, I'm gonna divide it into three. So it just kind of like blends with the hair that I'm gonna put on. So I'm actually gonna, I'll put the, I'm gonna put the hair on first. I think I might use another one. This one has a little bit of a rip. I'm gonna use this one as well. I just don't want it to rip or just to have any like incidences while I'm trying to do it. So might as well, but I'm just gonna do the same thing and keep that one on too. And I also brushed the hair with that same comb. So now I'm just gonna take that. I tend to pull my hair out too, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Um, so yeah, let me get some gel. And the gel's for my hair, just so it stays together and it's nice and smooth. I guess I'll do the same thing with the hair itself. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to pull a piece of the hair out to kind of wrap around the base of the ponytail. So I'll just put that here. And then now I will divide the hair into three and start braiding. I also don't have a lot of time, so this has to work regardless. <laughs> if I had more time, I would have added more layers to the braid to make it a little longer, but I just don't have the time because I still have to do my makeup, um, which I was planning on you know, doing like eyes and all that but depending on how much time i have i might just keep it somewhat simple so i made a little bit of a mistake with the braid so i'm just gonna correct that and use my fingers to comb it out and then also i noticed one side is a little thinner so i'm just adding to the other side and then going over it. So even though it was a little thinner, it's, you don't see that. I just took from one braid to the other 
and I try to correct any mistakes in the braid as I'm braiding. All right, so I'm gonna leave just about this much. I have this little bitty rubber band that I'm gonna tie on the end of the braid. Just gonna tie it like so, just to make sure it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to chop a little bit of that tail off. I'm just gonna go short. And that's the braid. So now let's take this off so I can finish this. So my hair is nice and straight, but we still have this little piece here to cover that little closure. And then we just wrap it around. Really. And I make sure it's tight as I'm wrapping it. Almost done, so we'll just do the edges and then we're good. Feels good. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like back there so you guys can see it and I can't. But um, I'm going to actually look for another black um, rubber band, um, not rubber band, actually, I will use the rubber band. I'm gonna use the rubber band in there just to make sure that extra part doesn't come off. I feel like I just need to make sure it's just a little bit more secure. Um, and it's so thin and it's black, so it probably won't show. And I tend to do that when I do a top bun or just any bun that I do and wrap around in general. It just makes me feel a bit more secure. So yeah, I know my hair is natural, so you know, you still have some of the natural hair showing and I just tend to tuck that out. Plus, this is only gonna be a day thing because I'm just going to a friend's wedding and I'll probably redo it again, but my hair is, as you, as you guys saw, my hair is super natural um, and really curly. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna tie my scarf off while I actually, I'm gonna spray it with um, got to be glue spray and then tie it down one more time and then do the edges. I do the edges after I do my makeup, so. All right, so I'm gonna tie it back down and then finish getting ready. Okay, so here is my ponytail. I am running so behind. I wanted to get there early and now I'm just gonna be right on time. I think it came out really good, but I'm gonna step back and share the full look. So this dress, I can't remember the name of the brand. It is, okay, so this is the dress, the brand. I just literally took the tags off. Um, Elizabeth Betta, Franchi, Franchi. Okay, so this is the full look. The dress is everything. Thank you to everyone who, you know, um, suggested dress A, so I went with this one, wearing them with my match and match shoes. I will also like, you know, do the full, everything in the outfit of the day, but this is the look, and I will be carrying my Bulgari bag. But yeah, loving this ponytail. I definitely have to do it again. Oh, and these earrings are super old um, from an online boutique in Toronto. All right.
Lord, we ask that you bless these rings as the two become one. everyone's dresses and everything in a minute. I'm just waiting for a mask and that. Yeah. this vlog thanks for watching the pack with me um, I hope you might have you know gotten some tips from that but yes um, I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and um, don't forget to check out my Instagram page and TikTok and website all by monica.com and just thanks for rolling with me guys I truly appreciate it um, and I'll see you in the next one bye guys